Hi folks, just a short video today. Sometimes people ask me questions that I actually know the answers to. The other day, I was uh, getting ready to uh, make the nut for Don Shaper. And in the video after this one, I'll show you what's going on with it. But I used some machinist wax so that I can make two test pieces before I go to the real material. We're going to have to bore this left-handed thread and I want to be able to test fit the piece before I screw up the really expensive bronze. So machinist wax. So I uh, took some wax over to Don's in one of the other episodes and we milled these two little flats on the bottom of it so that I can hold it in a vise jar. I made two of these screwed one up you'll see that coming up and then I made the same flats exactly in the same way on this piece of bronze well, when I broke this one I, I, I want two of them so I can practice the threading of the left hand acne nut that's going through a three inch nut and I want to I want to test it before I screw up the bronze the machinist wax split now I need another one so I decided to just make one and Don said well how are you going to do that you don't have a mill for those of you that follow along you know that my mill is being rebuilt right now but I said sure I do I've got old M8 and he says you can't use that that's a CNC he said just watch me here hold my beer on the machinist wax <laughs> So, yes, some machines you can use as a manual. And in fact, this one's easier to use than a real manual bridge port. Follow along. This is the control panel for the bridge port. And just by manipulating some of the buttons on here, I'll be able to run this as a manual mill, basically. I want to go to the GoPro, show you the inside working and stuff. So. Hope you enjoy it. Got it. Set it up. Right now I'm going to use this to uh, mill these two little slots in this one. I just set this up as a template. One of the cool things about this one is I can use it to uh, manually control it with this thumb wheel right here. Got it in jog X fast by turning this and turn there. Now I can also hit these two buttons up here. I'm going to switch over here and jog Y. Then I want to bring the tool down to reach over here and jog seven. I'm going back to one. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up that little, uh, this little ledge right here and then just transfer it over to that side. One to four. One to seven for Z. Now what I like to do, a little trick, you can do it with everything. Get your cigarette paper out. See if I can do it like this. Put the cigarette paper there. Come down. I'm not going to move Z anymore. 
but we do need to make sure we're up here against that back wall. And what I'm going to do is turn on the spindle and go that way. So, spindle easy. We'll get out of the jog menu and we're going to go up here to six. And I believe that should be tool six in there now. Yeah, tool six is in there. I'm going to six. It's input seed. I'm going to hit a thousand. Tool. Six. No, yeah, speed tool is six. Enter this. And I want it to go three. And you hit the... Now this isn't critical, so I'm just going to go easy back there. Just touch the back edge of that. But I tell you what, let's do it this way back up into the jog menu we're going to jog Y so it'd be four and I want it to go slow so I'm going to hit two now we're jogging slow I'm going to go over that way a little bit so I can just run it down there now I'm going to go to jog one three that gets me in the Y. I'm going to come over here and take a little bit off. Okay, turn her spindle back on, six, speed 1,000, tool six, three plug.
pop the spindle, then I'm going to do the same thing you did before. back over here get out of that menu go to six speed 1000 tool six clockwise Dog at nine. I'm going to hit F5 down there and I can go to clear point. Stop spindle. F5. So yes, Virginia, you can use a CNC as a uh, manual mill. Well, some of them. Thanks for watching.